Hello, film enthusiasts. Today we're going to talk about Hard Target 2, an action-packed movie with a lot of thrills and speeds. If you like your action heavy, suspense and nail-biting and martial arts top-notch, then this is for you. Starring amazing Scott Adkins, who has always been known for his great martial arts skills coupled with intense acting besides the talented Antrung and dynamic Rona Mitra among others, it promises to be one hell of a ride at the cinema. You may be here to find out what happens in the story or maybe just some fun facts behind the scenes or even better yet, what are people saying about it? Today's upload is all about Hard Target 2. I'm going to break down everything there is to know starting off with a brief summary so that everyone can follow along easily. Then we'll meet each main character along with their respective actors or actresses who portrayed them on screen before moving into various interesting things related to making such as production details which will give us different perspective towards appreciating this particular work more than ever. Before made possible by our behind the scenes knowledge only shared during times like these when movies like these get released at released into worldwide marketplaces also known as Earth, where people live in houses built next door but never actually meet cause they're too busy watching TV indoors playing. Video games online While eating pizza rolls with extra cheese and pepperoni topped off by some root beer floats mixed together, using spoons from random drawers scattered throughout house. But wait, there's more. We're also going through reviews and reception of Hard Target 2. What did critics say about it? Were they loving it or hating on it or both? How did audiences react? And finally, how much money did this thing make at the box office anyway plus its seemed debatings etc. To wrap things up, I'll give you my thoughts on the film and what I liked about it as well as any areas where I think could have been improved upon too. Plus, whether or not should watch Hard Target 2 in my opinion. So stick around because today we're diving deep into the world of Hard Target 2. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this one. Also, don't forget to turn notifications on so that way you know every time we upload new stuff. Now let's get started with Hard Target 2 Breakdown. Movie Summary The movie Hard Target 2 is a thrilling action film that takes the traditional idea of a hunt and mixes it with elements of today's world. Directed by Roald Raini, this movie is a follow-up to the 1993 movie Hard Target. In this part we are shown the life of Wes the Jailer Baylor played by Scott Adkins who is portrayed as an energetic character. Scott Atkins plays as the main protagonist in this film which tells us about his journey as a former mixed martial arts champion haunted by tragedy after an accident occurred during one fight. This time around things start becoming interesting when he gets offered some big money for fighting in Myanmar, following his downfall from fame where he has lost everything including his family because of what happened there, but still wants redemption badly enough so accepts it anyway not knowing. That was just another trap waiting him on way up against some rich guy called Aldrich who haunts people. Human beings gain fun among other sick games which people like playing when bored to death with their lives full only material things around them can get such kind satisfaction anymore but realizes too late none does matter without freedom life itself at stake now becomes question survive or day. Simple terms will be short at any moment given chance might survive if lucky enough avoid being caught once. Then let loose again somewhere else far away each time toad run till legs give out. Before they are found once more hope against our odds make maybe even win next game thereby gaining whatever prize attached winning that particular round which could simply mean staying alive longer. Themes depicted throughout hard target i.e. include a survival, redemption and resilience of human spirit against our odds. The director tells us how strong humans can be through this storyline where Baylor changes from broken man seeking for forgiveness into tough survivor who will do anything just stay alive. The other moral issue raised here has got something to do with Aldrich hunting humans as a sport for his rich friends who are bored from having everything and consider human life worthless. But what if someone like Baylor comes along? Maya Characters Cast Scott Adkins as West Baylor Aka the Jailor Scott Atkins is an action movie star best known for his roles in films such as Ninja Shadow of a Tear. In this film, 
he plays the part of Wes Baylor. Also known as the Jailer, he is a dynamic character who has been through many ups and downs throughout his career. Once an undefeated mixed martial arts champion with everything going right for him until that one night when it all went wrong after accidentally killing friend during fight, which made him feel guilty, so left boxing forever, where subsequently lost both fights against alcoholism not knowing how to. Cope without being able to express himself physically anymore. In Hard Target 2, we see Scott Atkins' character trained to redeem himself while still fighting for survival, which makes this movie even more interesting because you never know what will happen next with Scott Atkins involved, especially considering that he is very good at martial arts, so there will be a lot of action scenes here. The way Scott Atkins acts out this role proves why he was chosen since it requires somebody who can show both sides, i.e. vulnerable side when needed, but also tough side. Antrung Star Antrung stars opposite Scott Atkins playing a local woman called Ta, who becomes unlikely alongside him during their struggle against Aldish hunters in Hard Target E. Described by director Royal Rainey himself as a true hero. She shows great courage throughout the movie despite knowing too well how dangerous jungle can be having lived there all her life while also understanding what kind of person Aldrich is based on previous encounters with people like Bailey before they met each other, thus deciding help him anyway. Because justice needs sir where is due, even if means jeopardizing own safety. Thus character brings depth and emotional attachment towards Bailey's character development as she acts like his only friend within this deadly game he finds himself playing. With her knowledge about the jungle terrain plus braveness needed for them to win over these hunters, there becomes no doubt that without the Bailey would have been long dead before even starting these matches against them, hence showing just how important role played by Antrum was in completing. Storyline behind Hard Target IE Also worth mentioning here is Antrum ability to convey physical demands associated with such role as which are not easy but still manages deliver according to script making audience feel every single moment being displayed on screen through a performance. Rona Mitra Sophia In this film, Rona Mitra takes on the role of Sophia character who adds another level of tension and intrigue to the story. She is part of Aldrich's elite group which complicates dynamics among hunters. Mitra is widely known for her versatility as an actress and strong screen presence, therefore it should not surprise anyone if she brings out other dimensions in this movie. For instance, while Sophia may be seen only as one more participant in the chase without any particular reasons behind her actions, according to my understanding there should be something more about that woman considering Grona's involvement in it. In addition, such like figures usually do not have much influence over development of events, but they cannot be neglected either, because their interaction with other characters contributes greatly towards thrillers like these, where each person has his own reasons for doing things. This character is very complex, she has her own history and motives for being part of this hunt. Rona does not want people to think that Sophia was created just to serve as a CD kick or someone who influences nothing but what happens next in the storyline. That is why though working with both Baylor and Aldrich create a suspense throughout the entire film making audience feel worried. Supporting Characters The makers included some supporting actors which I find amazing since such roles always help increase overall excitement levels among viewers. One example could be taken from Robert Nepp acting out as Aldrich he played a villainous personality type by nature a sadistic yet highly intelligent enough to devise human hunts which are just too dangerous even for our hero ways. Besides him, there are hunters themselves having various skill sets plus personalities, thus making them formidable foes against whom Bailo will need all his strength if he ever intends surviving, let alone winning his freedom back. Hard Target 2 keeps us engaged through its characters' arcs, along with action packed scenes that make up most part of the movie. Wes Bailo, portrayed by Scott Atkins, remains my favorite character. Because apart from showcasing martial arts skills, this role also gives him chance to display wide emotional range as well. What more can we say other than Antrung and Rona Mitra were both excellent in their supporting roles, their performances added much needed depth into what could have been just another ordinary storyline about people being hunted down for no reason at all. This film is a thrilling narrative driven by its strong characters and intense action sequences. Scott Atkins' portrayal of Wes Baylor is one of the highlights as he showcases his martial arts expertise and emotional range throughout the movie. Supporting actors such as Antrung and Rona Mitra bring depth to their roles, 
making them more complex than they initially appear. With themes of survival and redemption present throughout the film, it offers heart-pounding moments along with an engaging story about one man's fight to reclaim his life back. Whether you're someone who loves action movies or just looking for something exciting to watch on a Friday night, Hard Target 2 promises plenty of threes. Engrossing Truths Manufactured Facts Spot Details Hard Target 2 was primarily shot in Thailand. Due to its lavish scenery and thick forests that served as the perfect setting for the movie's action packed scenes. The choice of Thailand as a location was motivated by the different visually appealing settings found in this country, which added authenticity to the film. Various parts of this Asian nation were used during production, including Bangkok's bustling cityscape and rural areas calm yet dangerous jungles. The natural beauty and unique landscapes of Thailand allowed the filmmakers to establish an environment that is both exotic and perilous thus heightening suspense in the storyline. Moreover, such varied terrains also provided different challenges as well as opportunities for dynamic action sequences ranging from impenetrable woods with river crossings to ancient temples surrounded by open fields. In other words, selecting where it was shot formed an integral part of its artistic design thereby making it more visually appealing for viewers director and production crew. Royal Rainey directed Hard Target 2, a filmmaker who specializes in making low-budget action movies quickly without compromising on quality. Practical effects have always been Rainey's strong suit when it comes to directing films packed with stones because he wants them to look realistic even though they are not meant to be real-life situations. His vast experience within this genre made him an ideal candidate for directing a follow-up story based on John Woo's 1993 hit. Both local talents as well as experienced professionals were involved in the production team, so as to blend Hollywood style of filmmaking with indigenous knowledge systems and resources from different places around Thailand where filming took place. Chris Lowenstein and Kirk Shaw served as producers responsible for overseeing various aspects related to logistics planning through implementation up until post-production phase, while still ensuring all financial requirements were met accordingly throughout each stage involved in bringing hard. Target AEA into reality internationally recognized professionals worked closely together with their Thai counterparts, thus enabling smooth running of things during shooting period within foreign land. Royal Rainey himself was responsible for cinematography of this movie as he is known to do multiple roles in his own projects so that there can be one vision which will guide the entire making process thereby giving an opportunity to personally shoot most thrilling parts filled with action. The main aim behind production design led by David Ingram was creation of genuine environment that would reflect that mood and hard edge narrative of Hard Target 2. Off-stage stories Funny or interesting incidents During the production of Hard Target 2, many moments occurred behind the scenes which added some lightness amidst all serious work done while filming. One occasion involved Scott Atkins, who showed off his martial arts prowess between shots by teaching locals simple moves this had the effect of creating fun and fostering unity among them. Another funny incident took place when shooting an arduous chase scene through thick jungle foliage it had been set up with traps hidden along its path at various points at various points, so as to make it more challenging for characters involved but also exciting viewers watching it on screen. As Atkins went through demonstrating agility needed by his role in survival situations amid such dense vegetation, a crew member accidentally triggered one trap causing harmless shower made of mostly leaves twigs rain down upon unsuspecting actor below, everyone laughed at themselves afterwards. Realizing how unpredictable things could become during such difficult shoots in unfamiliar terrains like this. Problems encountered by the cast and crew Filming for Hard Target 2 was not a walk in the park. Deciding to shoot in remote, rugged Thailand brought logistical and physical hardships that stretched the cast and crew's strength and cunning to their limits. Climate Conditions The ever-changing weather was one of the greatest challenges encountered. Being tropical in nature, 
Thailand is often subject to rainstorms which can come abruptly leading to disruption of shooting schedules and creating dangerous conditions for both actors and staff. This necessitated quick adjustments of plans whenever such interruptions occurred, hence requiring flexibility on the part of those involved. The high levels of humidity coupled with heat also pose a challenge considering there were intense action scenes that require actors to be physically fit throughout. Physical Demands The film took his toll on Scott Atkins, who had to perform most stunts himself. He needed a lot of energy for this. For instance, tough fight scenes and chase sequences demanded a great deal of preparation time as well as physical strength from him. Atkins had always believed in ensuring credibility when it comes to his role as therefore he trained very hard so that everything could look real. In spite of his strong background in martial arts, difficult terrains combined with non-stop pace during shooting stretch him beyond limits. Logistic Problems Setting up shots moving equipment through thick jungle was no easy task either it was another huge hurdle altogether. Lack of infrastructure within these remote areas made things worse still because heavy machinery could not easily be transported while catering for crew members became almost impossible to do to lack basic amenities required on sites such as accommodation facilities. However, production crews managed finding innovative ways around these problems like making use local materials plus engaging individuals who knew their way around those parts as guides among other things. Safety Concerns Safety remained number one priority all along during production process, thus some precautions have been taken into account by filmmakers especially when dealing with risky stunts or action scenes. This involved in professionals in stunt coordination. Giving detailed safety instructions before commencing any potentially dangerous activity and ensuring protective gear is worn when necessary but even after that there were still chances of getting injured since mountains are very rough places to shoot movies. Cultural Communication Barriers Working abroad introduced cultural differences as well as language barrier issues while most locals working on set could speak English fluently there were moments when miscommunications arose that be necessitating need for more time clarification also coordination among other things. In order to overcome such challenges it was important for production teams fostering collaborative spirit within work environment which allows open communication besides being sensitive towards observing local customs traditions. Positive results Nevertheless, the speed facing numerous obstacles here and there throughout making process of hard target too, what characterized this film the much was cooperation plus determination shown by everyone associated with it. The ability of actors and crew members are leaked to surmount difficulties while adapting themselves accordingly towards shifting situations greatly contributed success achieved by the end product. Additionally, shooting in Thailand served as an eye-opener towards broader horizons thereby giving different perspectives that help bring out more realism into picture, thus making it even better than expected. The bond developed amongst all those involved signified the dedication shared vision for success such unity teamwork can be clearly seen from final outcome itself, whereby thrilling action sequences were interwoven with captivating storyline grounded upon sweat put by cast together. The cast and crew of Hard Target 2 have shown how resilient, flexible and creative they are. During the filming in Thailand, which is both challenging and beautiful in its own right, People had to overcome a lot of logistical problems while gaining the most unforgettable experiences. The knowledge gained throughout the process as well as various stories from behind the scenes reveal that everyone involved was driven purely by their love for what they were doing moreover. Those very hardships encountered along the way only served to prove just how unpredictable movie making can be. By persisting together as one unit, and never giving up hope, even when things seemed impossible, this group managed to produce an equally thrilling yet more contemporary take on John Woo's classic tale of survival against all odds. Whether it is breathtaking locations like those found in southern Thailand or physical challenges posed by stunts performed there, whether cultural exchange took place between locals hired as extras and international crew members who traveled from different parts of the world, all these factors contribute towards making Hard Target to a truly memorable action-packed thriller that will keep you on edge of your seat to bury. 
End. Cast highlights. Scott Adkins. Biography and most recognizable roles. Scott Adkins was born on June 17, 1976, in Sutton Coldfield, England. From an early stage in his life, he showed interest in combat sports, which made him train in different disciplines such as Taekwondo, Judo, Kickboxing, and Karate. His love for martial arts is what led him to action movies where his skills could be exploited on a bigger platform. Atkins' breakout came when he played Yuri Boyka in the Undisputed series. His portrayal of Boyka, who is a very dangerous fighter with a complicated moral code, earned him a lot of fans and put him at the top list of martial arts actors. Other notable roles include the Ninja 2009 and Ninja Shadow of Atiyah 2030 where he played Cassie Bowman and the Expendables 22012 alongside action legends like Sylvester Stallone and Jason Statham. Apart from DC, Atkins has also appeared in big budget films like Doctor Strange Strange 2016, where he played one of the zealots and IP man for the finale 2019, as Barton Geddes, who is a strong antagonist. Being an actor as well as martial artistic performer has helped Scott work on various projects ranging from indie actions movies to blockbusters. Reason for being casted in Hard Target to Performance Review Scott Atkins was approached for Hard Target 2 because of his exceptional level skills of martial arts combined with already proven track record within action films. Where's the Jailor? Baylor character needed someone who can do intense fight scenes that looks real but still brings some kind of emotion into it. With Atkins' ability to act tough, while still being vulnerable physically made him perfect for this role. In the movie Hard Target 2, Scott plays with Baylor, a former AA, MA champion haunted by an accident that occurred during one of his fights. His performance portrays the internal struggle and yearning for redemption which adds more depth to what could have been just another action movie role. Atkins brings out Ronis through fighting sequences, making them not only exciting but emotionally engaging as Baylor wrestles against external force as well as inner demons. The authenticity of each action sequence was heightened by Scott's commitment towards doing own stunts plus fight choreography. He meticulously planned and executed every move in those fights because he is knowledgeable about martial arts due to his background thus displaying different styles, techniques involved at various levels which are indicative of realism worked on by Atkins, especially in Hard Target 2, where Character's journey has got both physicality demands alongside emotional stakes required from actor. Antrum Background and Career Achievements Antrum is an Australian actress of Vietnamese descent who has made a name for herself in the film and television industry. She was born and raised in Australia where she pursued acting, modeling as well martial arts due to her diverse cultural heritage, coupled with versatile skills set enabling her play variety roles spanning across different genres. Trung's acting career started with Australian television in shows such as Neighbours and Winners Losers. Her brilliant talent of representing characters authentically and emotionally complex has not gone unnoticed. She has also appeared in many independent films, which showcased her versatility as an actress. Their part in the movie and notable performances. In Hard Target 2, Antrim portrays the a local woman who eventually becomes Wes Baylor's unexpected partner. Ta is a quick thinking brave character that knows the dangers of the jungle, an average human hunt. But she still hates Baylor because she feels driven by justice for others like him. Being resilient yet vulnerable at times during this feature film was brought out well by Trung who added more meaning into it derby providing essential backup while Baylor tries staying alive throughout his journey. Thus bravery and local knowledge of the landscape are instrumental in Baylor's attempts to outwit and overcome the hunters. Trung's performative success lays in her ability to portray both physicality required by this role as well emotional stakes associated with it. Among many other scenes, one of them worth mentioning is when that confronts a hunter using wit and agility to outsmart him forward slash head. Trung makes that feel real, 
giving us someone who can actually believe exists within Baylor's world rather than just being a sidekick. Their chemistry enhances what would otherwise be another action-driven plot into something much deeper where every choice made carries more weight. Rona Mitra Career Highlights Rona Mitra is an English actress, model and singer born on August 1976. In Paddington, London, being known for her work across different mediums including films and TV shows, she became popular as a model especially when chosen as the live-action representation of Lara Croft from video games. Rona's unique looks combined with natural charisma paved the way for success in acting. She made her early appearances on television shows like Party of Five or The Practice before gaining wider recognition for playing Tara Wilson in Boston Legal, where acting both dramatic and comedic came naturally to her. The series also provided a platform where she could express versatility by assuming various complex roles which earned critical acclaim from reviewers who thought she was great at taking up such parts. In movies Mitra starred in different genres including action, horror and sci-fi among others. Some examples include Doomsday 2008 where Rona portrayed Eden Sinclair who is the lead character as well as Underworld Rise of the Lycans 2009 that saw Harak Sonja. Mostly what makes people keep hiring this lady is how deep into any role even does she go coupled with intensity required there be bringing out more life regardless whether it be small screen or big screen productions. How she contributed to the movie Rona Mitra portrays Sofia within her Target 2 movie. Sofia being part of Aldrich Elite group adds another twist to another with simple storyline thus making it more captivating. And so apart from being known for how the hitting performances backed up by strong screen presence, this actress has always delivered whenever called upon to do so, no wonder many directors feel like working with her over and over again. Sophia is a complex character, she does not just participate in the chase, but has her own motivations and backstory as well. In the hands of Mitra, Sophia becomes more than just another person in the movie, her unique presence affects how events unfold throughout the story. What keeps us interested are such moments like when she meets both Baylor and Aldrich because they increase the suspense levels within the film. One scene that stands out for Ronana Mitra caused during an encounter with Wes Baylor, where Sophia's crafty nature comes into play alongside her mercilessness also becoming apparent here. This particular part showcases some physicality as displayed by Mitra who manages to bring about both mental and bodily aspects of her acting thus making Sophia an incredibly strong opponent. The thing about this actor's contribution lies in creating characters that are interestingly charming while at the same time being hard to predict Derby adding on to overall plot development. Hard target to boss and ensemble cast made up of talented versatile performers each bringing something special which contributes significantly towards its success as a movie. Scott Atkins brings his martial arts skills mixed with emotional depth resulting in powerful performance given by Wes Baylor, who turns out to be quite convincing lead character within this action-packed film. The played by Antrong serve is not only a strong loyal friend for Wes but also offers some necessary weight behind certain parts throughout their journey together thus making narrative more compelling. What makes people talk most about Hard Target 2 is none other than Rona Mitra's portrayal where she adds layers upon layers to be becoming complex enigmatic figure that viewers can't forget easily. All these actors work together transform what would have been just another typical Hollywood action flick into something better since they all brought various dimensions through nuanced interpretations coupled with dynamic exchanges among themselves to throughout production process hence making. It won hell of a movie indeed. Reviews and Reception Critical Reviews General Critical Reception Though some liked that Scott Atkins starred in the movie and its action sequences, most critics were indifferent about Hard Target 2. They felt that it was not as unique or deep as the original one. Positive points from reviews One of the things that most reviewers liked about the film was Scott Atkins' acting. They thought that he did a good job with his martial arts skills and made the action scenes intense. His portrayal of Wes Baylor also stood out for them because they thought he played a complex character seeking redemption well. 
Full of action, most reviewers loved how much action there was in this movie. They said that all of the fight scenes were choreographed perfectly and very thrilling to watch. Scott Atkins' critics who paid attention to this actor noted on his physicality and insistence on doing his own stunts, which made everything look real. Besides this, they described him as being able to infuse emotion into otherwise dull fights through his remarkable martial arts skills. Visual cinematography, the visuals were amazing, especially when different parts of Thailand were used, since it gave an exotic touch, plus it was immersive enough too. According to reviews, cinematography managed to capture both beauty and danger aspects found within Junglis perfectly, thus enhancing overall experience while watching this film. Negative points from reviews People mainly criticize plot development's character's growth while giving their negative feedbacks regarding hard target A. Some felt like these two areas lacked enough attention due to excessive reliance on action alone by its creators. Lack of originality, a few critics mentioned how unoriginal they found certain aspects of HTIE storylines such as having another man hunt through forests which we saw in Hard Target 1993 already among others movies before. Hence nothing fresh or new here according them. However, I can't say I disagree completely because sometimes it's good to stick with what works best but still be creative about it. Character development, most characters were flat according to some reviews. They said that apart from Scott Atkins' impressive performance, other roles did not add much value into telling the story thereby making them appear weakly developed and irrelevant. Pacing and script There were slow parts of the movie that didn't fit well with its overall fast-paced action theme as mentioned by a few critics who also pointed out lack of originality in dialogue writing at times throughout this feature-length picture show named Hard Target, i.e. produced under Universal Pictures. International productions of Pip Banner, etc., etc., blah, blah, blah. You get my drift, right? Entertainment value most watchers appreciated this show for being entertaining. They said it wasn't groundbreaking, but was a fun and exciting action film that met their expectations. Notably fun reactions or comments. Fans' notable reactions often mention specific scenes or parts that stood out to them. Comments on social media and fan forums praised the jungle chess scenes and the final fight between Baylor and the Hunters. Martial arts sequences fans were impressed by the choreography of martial arts in this movie and how realistic the fight scenes looked. Many people liked Atkins' commitment to doing his own stunts. Scenic locations, another aspect that was highly commended, were the various landscapes of Thailand, which added an exotic feel to it all making them visually pleasing for fans who found themselves immersed into watching such places being used as settings. Character sympathy Some viewers sympathized with Wes Baylor's character because they felt like he brought emotional depth into what would have otherwise been just an action-packed film, according to one fan comment about Scott Atkins' performance in Hard Target 2. Box Office and Ratings How the movie performed financially Hard Target 2 did not premiere at cinemas, therefore there is no traditional box office numbers associated with its release. However, one could gauge this film's financial success through looking into areas like home video sales as well as streaming platforms where it may have found a commercial market among fans who love action movies or martial arts films, especially those starring Scott Adkins. Home video sales considering DVD and Blu-ray sales. Hard Target 2 are decent numbers in terms of overall performance within home video markets, hence implying strong direct-to-video action fanbase existence. Streaming performance over time, Hard Target 2 gained consistent number streams across popular services, mainly because many people are fond of Scott Atkins and love action movies. Availability on these platforms broadened the film's viewership base, leading to higher numbers of views recorded, which helped it remain relevant even after some time had elapsed since its release. Ratings on popular platforms IMDb on IMD Hard Target 2 has a rating that is neither too high nor too low, meaning it falls within average level, thus indicating mixed reviews from different people who have watched this film. The rating ranges between 5.0 and 6.0, which shows there are both fans as well critics out there, 
who enjoy or dislike such kinds of narratives filled with lots of thrilling moments. Rotten Tomatoes Critics tend not to favor direct-to-video action sequels like this one, hence their negative reviews can be seen through lower ratings, but on the other hand, general audience may find them quite entertaining, leading positive feedback reflected in higher scores compared to those given by experts. Metacritic looking at Metacritic user scores were generally more favorable towards Hard Target 2 than what was given by professional reviewers, which indicates different expectations between these two groups. My final take? Self-reflection. Your opinion of the film? Action-packed Hard Target 2 as all that lovers of this genre would expect. This includes high octane battles, a tough main character, as well as an uncomplicated plot which keeps one's blood boiling. The film was released in 2016 as a continuation of Hard Target 1993. It therefore had to live up to its predecessor while still being able to hold its own ground. Scott Adkins plays Wes Baylor, who undoubtedly is the film's strongest card with his physically impressive and emotionally captivating portrayal of this character. In each fight scene where Atkins shows off his martial arts skills, we get to see how good he really is at what he does. Also not forgetting that most actors don't do their own stunts, but gladly for us viewers he does so, which adds more authenticity into these scenes than any other modern day action movie can offer. He brought depth into this person by making him haunted by past mistakes, but still driven towards redemption, thus making it much more interesting than just another bad guy turned good storyline. What stood out to you? Below are some things about Hard Target 2 that I really loved. Fight scenes, every battle sequence was well thought out and executed with precision, leaving no room for errors on anyone's part, whether physically or mentally involved in them, such as fighters themselves or even viewers like myself, who were watching from home behind our screens. Setting camera work, Thailand provided picturesque scenery throughout the entire film, thanks mainly because it was filmed there. Such diverse locations ranging from tickets filled with trees up to cities full of skyscrapers help improve visual appeal, while adding extra sense adventure plus danger too since they show what life can be like outside where many people know nothing whatsoever about except through movies. Scott Adkins' acting skills, he didn't just show off his physicality through martial arts alone, but also delivered emotionally in terms acting something which made us all fall for West by Lord, even though we could see where story was going most times. Is there anything that could have been better? However, as much as Hard Target 2 did well, when it came down to action and aesthetics, there were still areas that needed working on such as Underdeveloped characters supporting actors played their respective roles quite competently, but lacked enough depth behind them, hence making everything seem a bit too flat and one-dimensional. Additional backstories or full character development, especially around figures like that and thrown together with Sofia Rona Mitra would have brought more layers into play here. Originality of plot, it may be true that many people love a human haunts which take place deep within jungle since it provide good settings for thrilling moments involving fights, however this doesn't mean every movie has to follow same old path. There should always be room left open for few surprises along the way or else deeper exploration about what such stories really mean both symbolically plus thematically so that at least storyline becomes a little bit different from others out there. Dialogue script rating. Sometimes dialogue tends sound to please plus fails, deliver necessary impact, require make certain characters remain memorable throughout entire duration film. Tighter scripts featuring more engaging conversations could easily have fixed this problem thereby enhancing overall experience had by. Viewers. Who do you think would like this movie? This is an action and martial arts film that will mostly appeal to fans of the genre. If you are someone who enjoys watching intense fight scenes which are filled with energy from start to finish, then Hard Target 2 should be right up your alley. Moreover, Scott Adkins' performance in this movie might also attract some people since they get to see him take center stage playing a leading role where he gets showcased all his skills as an actor as well as martial artist. For action junkies, those individuals out there that have taste for non-stop action coupled with great choreography when it comes down these types of flicks then look no further than Hard Target 2. 
The movie astounds thrilling combat sequences which do not disappoint at any given point in time. Martial arts enthusiasts, this particular aspect alone should be enough reason why anyone would watch Hot Target 2. Scott Atkins' background being one among many others who share the same interest does help draw crowd towards authenticity portrayed during fight scenes themselves. For viewers who want to escape if people require a movie that is filled with action and can let them escape from reality for a while, then Hard Target 2 would be perfect. The locations are exotic and the pace never slows down which makes it fun to watch. Is it worth watching? Yes, because Hard Target 2 is one of those films you watch if you love watching martial arts choreography executed well in an action-packed film. But don't expect much character development or groundbreaking storylines this movie offers good entertainment value while showcasing Scott Adkins' talents as an actor too. too. For fans of action movies, definitely. This movie has all the elements that make up a great action flick thrilling fight scene is combined with excellent performance by Atkins who is known for his expertise in martial arts. For those not into action, maybe not. However, if someone does not particularly enjoy such genre but still wants something light-hearted yet exciting to watch on any given evening, then Hard Target 2 should do just fine. Fans of Scott Atkins work absolutely. This film gives an opportunity for fans seeing him both act out physically demanding roles and demonstrate various fighting styles, so they really shouldn't miss out on this one. In summary, Hard Target 2 succeeds at being an adrenaline fueled feast that involves breathtaking martial arts choreography showcased by Scott Atkins himself, among other actors contributing their quota towards making sure viewers don't get bored easily throughout the movie. Though not necessarily original, neither deeply scripted. It however serves its purpose entertaining people thus living up to expectations set before its release a date for me I find it quite interesting how every time some new flick comes out, we always ask ourselves whether or not we should see it even though deep down inside us we know damn well. Without even thinking twice about going straight into theater room, grab ourselves some popcorn while watching such epic scenes on four before our very eyes. Summary In our examination of Hard Target 2, we have looked at different angles of the film, including its strengths, weaknesses and reception at large. To wrap up, here's a quick recap of what we discussed. Introduction and Overview we began by introducing the movie as a sequel to the 1993 action flick Hard Target starring Scott Atkins, and Truman and Rona Mitra among others, then outlined what this video would cover. Movie Overview We gave a synopsis of the plot, which revolves around Wes Baylor's transformation from a tragic accident in the ring into being hunted down as part of lethal hunt for humans. Additionally, we touched on main conflict, and themes such as survival and redemption. Key characters were introduced, these included Scott Atkins, who played Wes Baylor, Antrung Asda and Sophia, portrayed by Rona Mitra. Interesting facts Production insights were shared, like shooting locations in Thailand, director details, and other members behind production team. Behind the scene stories came next where interesting incidents or challenges faced us during shooting were revealed. Cast Highlights We took an in-depth look at three main cast members Scott Atkins with Baylor, Antrun Tan Rona Mita Sophia. Backgrounds were given including previous works they had done that made them famous plus how this related with Hard Target 2. Scott Atkins was praised for his physical strength combined with emotional depth while acting out his role in Hard Target 2. Analysis was done on both Antrung's character performance and Rona Mitra's involvement within the script vis-a-vis -vis their impact on overall outcome of this film. Reviews and Reception Critical response a review followed where positive negative reviews were mentioned. For instance, while critics applauded action scenes and Atkins acting, they faulted it for being unoriginal and shallow. Fan reaction appeared more positive than that of critics as majority liked action packedness or performances delivered by actors actresses involved. 
Financial performance got discussed through sales made by home videos plus streaming services provider numbers besides in the Bay Rotten Tomatoes ratings. Final thoughts. Personally, I felt that there were good things about this movie like how well choreographed its fight sequences were, and Scott Atkins acting ability but some area improvements such as character development and plot originality which makes me rate it at 7 out of 10 points overall. Recommendation was given based on who would enjoy watching the film or not alongside other relevant details regarding what to expect from Hard Target 2. If you are an action junkie, then Hard Target 2 is a must see. Scott Atkins puts on one hell of a show and the movie doesn't let up steam rolling through every scene with adrenaline fueled ferocity. Whether you are into martial arts movies, follow Atkins career or just want something fun for movie night, check out Hard Target 2. It has all the threes and speeds required for a good time watching an action packed film. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you want more reviews on your favorite action flicks. Share any thoughts about Hard Target 2 in comment section below. Did anyone else find themselves loving those fight scenes too? What did you think of Scott Adkins' performance? We appreciate feedback from viewers like yourself as it helps us create better content around these types of films. Thanks for tuning in.